A Muppet Family Christmas. Brought to you by Play School. Parents trust us to be in the forefront with the best from crib toys to computers. At Play School, we know kids love our dinosaurs because they've made them the most popular ones in history. We love Play School dinosaurs. They're big and strong and tough. Spines and teeth and tails. Jaws and horns and sails. We can play with them real rough. And now we've made eight more just as big and realistic with parts that move and cavesters too. Play School's definitely dinosaurs. Play School dinosaurs are big and strong and tough. We can play with them real rough. Charity, that's shredded wheat, not a TV dinner. Well, that's how we do it in Nome. Nome? I didn't know you were from Alaska. Not Nome, Alaska. Nome, Texas. I never saw anyone eat shredded wheat hot before. Oh, mm. sure. My mom used to pour hot milk on it. Try a Nabisco shredded wheat in your microwave. In just a minute or two, you can have a delicious hot breakfast with no added sugar or salt. If they microwave it in Texas, what do they do in California? They tan it. Nabisco. Well, I think I have everything. Yes, the airline ticket, my suntan lotion. Come in. Hello, is this Grizzly Farm? Oh, you must be the renter. Come in, come in. Yes, yes, I'm Doc. Are you my landlady? Ooh. No, Spocket, I didn't know I was renting from a bear. Ooh. Oh, mind your step. Be careful, there's an icy Whoa. patch there. Oh, I'm just so glad there's someone going to be staying in the house while I'm gone. Yes, well, well, Sprocket and I, he's my dog, Sprocket, we're certainly delighted to be renting the place. We've been wanting to spend a nice, quiet Christmas in the country. You've come to the right place. Now put your things in the bedroom at the top of the Thank stairs. You. Now, who could that be? Ta-da! Merry Christmas! Son! Mom! Ah! Oh, it's so good to see uh, you. Well, well, what the... A uh, uh, surprise? No, no, the real surprise is... I brought all my friends with me! What? Oh, Merry Christmas! Oh, be careful the ice cream! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 aren't you glad to see us all? Well, I should say... Excuse me, Miss Bear. Remember me? I rented this place to have a nice, quiet Christmas. Peace on earth! Give me presents! Ah! Be careful, Sprocket. These could be from some foreign planet. Actually, they're from television. I recognize Fozzie's weird old friends. Yeah, we're proud of it, too. <laughs> Why am I here? Tell me, Sprocket, are these everything like these fraggles you keep telling me about? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Mom, 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 I want you to meet someone. This is my boss, my friend, my inspiration, or the one who gave me my big break in the show business, Kermit. Oh, yeah, the lizard. Uh, uh well, Frog, actually. Uh, listen, Mrs. Bear, you know, I know there are an awful lot of us here, oh, and so I just... Oh, don't you worry about it. There's plenty of room for everybody. Excuse me. You promised me a nice, quiet Christmas. You think you're disappointed? I just took three months of surfing lessons for zip. Telephone! Telephone! Uh, uh, that's just animals. Uh, hello, hello, hello! Give me a present! You welcome me? Oh, pig. Uh, hello? Uh, piggy? Kermy, my dear sir, it's you. Uh, yes, Piggy, it's me. Hey, listen, where are you? You were supposed to come up to the farmhouse with us. Oh, oh I know, Kermy, but I forgot about the teensy weensy photo session I just scheduled. <laughs> okay, now give me more over the shoulder, honey. Hold it. Uh, well, well, hurry up. Do not worry so, my little green hunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, couldn't be nice. Thank you. My chauffeur, Jerome, is ready to whisk me away into your arms at the farmhouse. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. I must go now. I'm rather busy. Can we see you soon? Mm. Okay, bye. Kissy, kissy. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 now do that pouty thing. Oh, yes. Do that pouty thing. Oh, oh, fabulous. <laughs> You'll find more bedrooms up the stairs. But those are our bedrooms. We rented this place. <laughs> Not more. Fozzie, get that door. Okay, Mom. Up the stairs. Sweetie.
a chef. Lila, you. Oh, I see pasta. Yo, thing is bird, the gobble, 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 turkey. Oh, you mean you're here to cook the Christmas turkey for all of us? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. Now, where did my little chicky poo Camilla get to? Ah, oh, I'll get it. <laughs> yes? Oh, my dear. You're a turkey, of course. Uh, uh, come on outside, we gotta talk. And then the chicken and the coochie. We're, we're sure that there are rats and chickens here. We always have rats and chickens. Listen, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time now. Take a walk, fly south for the winter, anything. Uh, I was invited for Christmas by some guy who spoke Swedish. Oh, Got a white chef's hat on. Sounds like a nice vacation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, that guy is a chef. Don't you realize it could be very dangerous for turkeys around here? Not to worry, I'm a survivor. <laughs> Now, where's my room? Uh, if you're not careful, it'll be in the oven. So long, bucko. <laughs> See you at dinner. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, Fuzzy? Well, 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 the chef is a little bit angry because of all the rats and chickens in his kitchen. Uh, well, how about we send him to his bedroom instead? Oh, yeah, chicken and the rat and the books, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, head him out. Okay. Yeah, go up to the bedroom, up to the bedroom. Yes, here we go, guys. Another crisis solved. Boy, there sure are a lot of us here. Well, the whole family is starting to come together. We always come together at Christmas. Yeah, life was just passing a blur if it weren't for times like this. Hmm? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. <laughs> Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing up for so the fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Yeah. Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time. Ooh. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. square. In the frosty air. What a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Away. Jingle bell time. Pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in a jingling beat. That's the jingle bell rock. Two-wheeler, please, for this Toys R Us kit. If I could only have it, there'd be so much I could do. Go shopping for Mom, mail letters for Dad. A paper route would be so cool, I'd follow every traffic rule. And then a big race, I bet it could win. Oh, wow, I learned to ride it. Soon as Mom and Dad show me how. Toys R Us, you'll never outgrow us. Now there's a shower for those big in gusto, but small in stature. Sudley Shower. Sudley Shower brings the joys of showering to the younger set. So now they can end their day on a high note. Bravissimo. Sudley Shower, the friendly shower for little squirts. I know a boy, his name is Zack. He loves to fit, he loves to stack. Yes, construction is his knack. He's Zack, the Lego maniac. He builds in the window, he's off the wall. He builds them big, he builds them small. In Lego land, he'll rock and roll. He's Lego wild, out of control. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Zack, Zack. 
Legoland King's Castle Airport Cosmic Fleet Voyager sold separately from Lego Systems. You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to read me the most wonderful stories. They give your child a gift that lasts a lifetime. Read together and share the joy. Maggie Hahn and George Siegel. You treat me like some floozy. Floozy? Round heels. Bimbo. This isn't a sing-along. Two uncanny crime solvers. In a romance that's a real mystery. Murphy's Law premiering tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be a terrific Christmas tree. Just bring it inside, guys. Thanks. Yo, Fuzzy, I finally made it. Hey, Ralph, welcome. Are you late? Yeah, I've been chasing the truck all the way, and boy, am I exhausted. <laughs> oh, I get a truck exhaust. That's funny. Yeah, that's a dog joke. Oh, go inside and tell Mom that. Gotcha. Yeah, she loves canine humor. Okay, boys, put it over there in the corner. Come on, Doc, let's get this holly up here. Uh, oh, Mrs. Bear, mm -hmm. I've been chasing the truck, and boy, what? Oh, oh my. I guess Fozzie didn't tell you about the icy patch. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he didn't. Anyhow, my name's Ralph the dog. I come for the holidays. More? More people? <sighs> I'll go out and see if there's a spare pillow in the kennel. Oh. <gasps> woof, woof. <laughs> yeah, bark, bark. <laughs> oh. Don't you just hate it when you can't <laughs> speak the language? Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just what I was looking for. Look at this little beauty. <laughs> Lovely weather for a bear and a snowman like you. Out here the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Ah, come on, it's lovely weather for a bear and a snowman like you. Hey, that's pretty good harmony for a snowman. Actually, I'm a snowman. What's a snowman? Nothing's a snowman. What's a snow with you? There's a Christmas party at the home of Fuzzy Bear. It'll be a perfect party with my friends all there. We'll, we'll be singing the songs we love to sing without a single stop. At the fireplace while we watch the chestnuts pop, 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 But seriously, Fuzzy, what do you think of the weather we're having? It's so cold. How cold is it? It's so cold that when I opened my refrigerator this morning, there was a polar bear inside trying to keep warm. <laughs> but it's always cold at Christmas. Ah, Christmas. Time for Santa Claus and his eight prancing reindeer. That's reindeer. No. That's snow, darling! Ah! <laughs> Out here the snow is falling and friends are calling you through. Yeah. Come on, it's lovely weather for a Christmas together with you! Ah! 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 <laughs> Man, you guys are the funniest comedy teams in the business! Uh, really? Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay thank right you. where you are! <laughs> Kermit, where are you? In the kitchen, Fozzie. Oh, I got some wonderful news. Oh, Kermit, Kermit, Kermit. Let me tell you about this new act I found. I, you know, I listened to this. I'm I, listening. Yeah, I was outside building a snowman. Uh, just a second. And, uh, oh, Kermit, wait, wait, wait. Kermit, see. Hello, Emily Bears residence. Aww. This is Kermit the Frog. Oh, hi, Piggy. Sure, you know well, Kermit. I just wanted to tell you I have an itsy bits of Christmas shopping to do before I come out to the farmhouse. But, Piggy, tonight's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Not never you fear, dear. I shall be there soon. Ta-ta! Ooh! Green fuzzy flipper slippers. Oh, divine. Have them get pressed. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit, now, now can I tell you about my new act? I'm huh? all ears. <laughs> what can that be? <laughs> what do you mean he's all ears? Frogs don't even have ears. <laughs> this is my dog, Sprocket. He is not a Christmas turkey. This make a gobble gobble fair for news. I don't care if the turkey says the dog is a turkey. The dog is not the turkey. The turkey's the turkey. You turkey. This make a gobble gobble goofy woofy. <laughs> this is the 
trying to be fun. <laughs> Whoa, uh -huh. speaking of fun, hey, Mama, how you doing? Hey, Kermit, look what I have. It's home movies. I found this old film in the closet. It's the very first Christmas the Muppets ever spent together. Ooh. Great, I haven't seen that film in years. Turn off the lights and roll the film. It's Miss Ham Hot when she was just a little sausage roll. You were still in diapers in those days. Ma. Oh, look, there's Ralph when he was a wee puppy. Not so wee. I was paper trained. <laughs> Even weirdos are cute when they're babies. I knew you'd learn to love us. I didn't say that. What's that? <laughs> I tell you, Chicken Little, you're my kind of poultry. Uh, Camilla, what's going on here? Ooh, you got some drumsticks there, my fine feathered mama. Uh, but, but, but Camilla's my girlfriend. You gotta be kidding. You're not even a bird. Well, nobody's perfect. Come on, Ninny Penny. Let's me and you go out to the farmyard for a little friendly scratching and squawking. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, Cut that. Does it? Let me at him. I'm gonna rip off his uh, waddle. You and what other nerd? Come on, put up your wings, turtle toes. Uh, why, you pulling my uh, leg, holes uh, nose. Well, I'll be pulling your, your wishbone, cranberry breath. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mark, what do I hear? hear me about to make some turkey hash. I no, no, I listen. Me thinks me hears carolers. Here we come a caroling among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you and to you my tidings too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. It's the Sesame Street gang. Merry Christmas from Sesame Street. Merry Christmas. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Roll the ancient Yuletide carol. La 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 la. Okay, Ernie, you're next. See the blazing Yule before us. La 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 la. Strike the heart and join the chorus. La 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 la. I will not sing this song. La 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 la. While I count the Yule by treasure. La 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 la. Your turn, Harry Monster. Pass the way the old year passes. La 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 la. Hail the new year, lads and lasses. La 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 la. Sing a joyous song together. La 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 la. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. It's the season to be jolly. La 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 Watch out! Well, Doc, you know what this means? Sprocket and I will have to give up our hammock in the attic, right? Either that or Bill bunk beds in the brim closet. Sprocket, go get me a hammer, will you? Oh, hi there. Hey, we're Ernie and Bert. Yeah. Well, hi there yourself. I'm Doc. Oh, did you know that Doc starts with the letter D? Why, yes. Yes, yes starts with the letter Y. Yeah. True. And true starts with the letter D. Hey, what is this? Where we come from, this is small talk. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, it's nice to meet you, but I've got to go and build some bunk beds. Bunk, bunk beds. beds. C words. Ah. Hey, 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 no, 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 you got me wrong. I'm a dairy cow. No, 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 do best boy, D. Hey, all right, okay, I'm a, 
I'm a birdie, I'm a birdie, I'm a seagull, all right? No, no, hey. no, gobbler, gobbler. Uh, okay, all right, I admit it, I admit it. The jig is up. Here I am, the Christmas turkey. The Tosca Snoop. Mm. Ow! Hey, watch it there, will you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I recognize it now. This is... This, this is the traditional fitting, right? To see if the roasting pan is big enough for the nice fat bird. Yo, yo, yo. Gobbler, gobbler, torky, fitsky, whitsky. Of course, uh, <laughs> before we go any further, uh, uh, there is one thing I think you should see. You miss this gobbler, gobbler, snooze? If you think I'm a nice fat bird, look at this! Oh, you are! Snooze the gobbler, gobbler, you mongo! <laughs> hey, everyone, quiet down. There's a bulletin on TV. And now for this news flash. The worst blizzard in 50 years is approaching us at a great rate. The weather service reports that barometers are falling sharply. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Look at the snow. One snowflake, two snowflakes, three snowflakes. There's piggies out there in that storm. Five, six... Unbelievable. <laughs> Delicious. Three sizes. Why are there three sizes? They did it for fun. <laughs> Small. Smaller. Very, very tiny. I need bigger hands. Buttery. Totally portable. Ritz Fits. Every bit as good as a Ritz. Who's responsible for this, huh? Not this girl. At Play School, we know real cooking sounds make cooking more fun. So our Play Sound Stove and Play Sound Sink have lots of real sounds. Play Sound Stove, Play Sound Sink. You can hear the sounds of so many things. Water right here. This is washing. Cattle whipping. Veggies growing in the telephone And the time of the ready. Play School, Play Sound Stove and Sink. Cookware and play food, too. You can hear the sounds of so many things. Tuesday. What do you say? I say men are scum. It's who's the boss. Mother, did you and Max have one of your little tips? My tips are not little. Dad, if you manage to knock down one pin, I'll be your love slave for life. Yeah, but what do I win? It's a trip down lovers' lanes on Roseanne, following Who's the Boss, Tuesday. A Muppet Family Christmas will continue in a moment. The biggest premieres yet are coming Tuesday. Mr. Addison. Dave and Matt are back together. Am I in the right show? And Moonlighting back on track. Pop harder! I'm pumping as hard as I can! Don't run back. You can pop harder when you want to. Then, has your secretary got you down? And your dog put you out? Brendel had a little accident. Don't despair. There's hope. And Michael. The whole gang is back for the season premiere of 30-something after the season premiere of Moonlighting. There's a big difference between other leading stain-resistant carpets and Genesis carpet. Genesis resists fading, even under bleach. In stock and on sale now at Carpet Gallery. In 1987, Long Lewis Ford sold fully equipped Aerostar wagons for $12,990. In 1988, we sold fully equipped Aerostar wagons for $12,990, even though Ford's price went up. Today, Long Lewis Ford will sell you one of dozens of 1989 Aerostars for $12,990 after factory rebate, fully equipped, big six, seven passenger, automatic overdrive, air power, dual buckets, electronic AM FM stereo with earphone jack, still $12,990. Your family fun machine, only at Long Lewis in Bessemer, with no fine print. New Ideal is closing its doors forever. Get quality clothes for the entire family. Fixtures, everything must go. Register for thousands of dollars in free prizes. New Ideal downtown. James is caught in the middle. Are you threatening me? Yeah. That's what I thought. Starting from scratch. Starting from scratch. Friday at 8 on WBRC 6. WBRC, home of Skylink 6. The huge canary sleeps in the attic with the cookie eater. Check. The blue monster said he'd sleep in the bathtub. Check. And uh, Ernie and Bert will bunk out with a lizard here. Uh, uh frog. Uh, Kermit the Frog. Uh, well, what about Oscar? No, I'll be nicely miserable with my trash can here. <sighs> hey, maybe I could bunk out here with you. 
Uh, I never had a rat in my trash can before. That might be nice. <laughs> hey, everybody, look what I've got. Christmas cookies. Cookies! Oh, thank you. Who was that strange blue creature? That my kind of fella. Ah. Hey, everybody, it's time to rehearse our Sesame Street pageant. It's called Was the Night Before Christmas. Come on out, Bert. I won't. Come on, Bert. All right, please don't make me. Oh, Bert, listen, everybody's waiting. <laughs> Ernie, why must you always humiliate me? Come on, Bert. Somebody has to play Mama, and you lost the toss. All right, well, just get it over with. Okay. <laughs> Was the Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. Hit it, Rolf. Was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Cue the mouse! I'm here! I'm here! Cue the mouse mouse is here! What's the ball for? Oh, uh, so you can see that I am not stirring. Note how the hand never touches the spoon. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, public! Thank you! They adorable. See, hey, I? don't encourage Not them. Not even a mouth. Huh. Mama in her kerchief. That's you, Bert. I know, I know. And I and my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Went out on the lawn there and rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Open a curtain! <laughs> Monsters? Is reindeer? This is crazy. And uh, where's Santa Claus? Oh, don't worry, Bert. We're getting to him. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Hello! <laughs> There's nothing sacred. Now, oh, wait a minute. Now, who let the two-headed monster be Santa Claus? Yeah, but Bertie said he'd never been in a play before. I mean, oh. they said it. Uh, both of them said it. Wait, just go to the big finish, will you, please? Okay, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Sorry to break up your fun in here, but have you folks seen the weather? There's a real storm out there. Oh, Lordy, I haven't seen a sky like that since a blizzard of 41. I tell you, Mr. Lizard, it's a good thing all your friends are safe and warm inside the farmhouse. Yeah, but all my friends are not safe and warm. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. It's cold enough out there to freeze your Winnebago. Hello? Hello, Kermie. I finished my shopping. Unfortunately, Jerome got the limo stuck in the snowbank. <laughs> So I'll just have to catch a taxi to the farmhouse. Listen, Piggy, there's a terrible storm outside, and I really think it's too dangerous to travel. So why don't you wait for the storm to end before you join us? Nonsense! And miss my Christmas Eve with Boo? It's just a little bit of snow. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Miss Piggy will be all right. Kermit? Kermit, you look worried. I know exactly what you need. Comedy. What? Yeah, come on. Now's the time for you to meet my new partner. Well, well who's your new partner? A snowman. What the heck you say? Yeah, yeah, come on outside. We'll do our act for you. Outside? Foggy, it's too cold to go outside. It's not cold. It is cold. It's not cold. <laughs> Can I come in and warm up? Okay, so it's cold. Uh, I'm Kermit the Frog. You must be Fozzie's new partner. Oh, say, we're terrific. Yeah, yeah, come on. You are coming in a snowman, but you are going out a star. Hey, 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 everybody. Would you like to see our new act? We'd love to see your act. In fact, we'd hate to miss your act. In fact, we'd love to hate your act. <laughs> <laughs> Stantler, what the, where'd you guys come from? They're friends of mine, Fozzie. They come visit me every Christmas. <laughs> My own mother is friends with you guys? These two comics are made for each other. Oh. The snowman is ice cold and the bear's not so hot. <laughs> oh, please. After all, there's no business like snow business. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Come on, ignore him. Uh, snowman, do a straight line. Here we go. Uh, okay. Hey, Fuzzy. Yes, Mr. Snowman. Did you hear about the church that burned down? Holy smoke! <laughs> that was our best joke. Oh, that does it, Fuzzy. Forget the act. I'm starting to melt. It's too hot in here. Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he'll be okay in the back porch. Boy, that storm is really getting worse. Yeah, I hope Miss Piggy is okay. There is one worried frog. Aha, uh -huh. that's one. One worried frog. Oh, he's not the only one. That's two. Two worried frogs. Uh, 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 uh. Search me for small talk, I think. Hey, I better go out and get some firewood. <laughs> Did you wish to talk to me about something, Mr. Cookster? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gee, nice kitchen. <laughs> hey, are you going to have cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes? Yuck, and spring and burn. Yeah, mm, boy. Gobble, gobble. I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna hear about the whole meal. Oh, here. young and spring. Uh, young but and first, young. I wanna give this little present to you. It's it's chocolate covered bird seed. I made it myself. I wanted to give it to you because, well, I know that you're from Sweden, and it must be hard for you because you're away from your family and loved ones during the holidays. At mm -hmm. Christmas, there are places and people and things that become very very special. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Gingosmirt, gingosmirt, don't go near. It's flingong yeber eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. Gingosmirt, Though it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now then, Mr. Cook, tell me exactly what are you going to fix for Christmas dinner? Uh, uh oh, oh, um, scraper beef on cran and butcher. Shredded wheat and cranberry sauce. Yeah. My absolute favorite. Yeah. Ooh, going to be lots of snow for me to shovel tomorrow. Uh, it's getting worse and worse out there. Aren't you glad you're in here all warm and toasty? I just wish Miss Piggy were. Okay! When I yell three, get it! One, two, three! And now we're friends. Oh. You see, Sprocky and I were going to spend Christmas alone, but this is better. Now, what's your friend look like? Uh, well, uh, uh, to begin with, uh, she's a pig. Well, up to a short while ago, I would have thought that strange. I'll give it a try. Gee, thanks, Doc. You'll be sorry. It's cold enough to freeze your Winnebago. Ah! What a sweet guy. Kermit. Robin? Where are you? In the cellar. What are you doing down there? I made a discovery. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you talking about? You remember telling me about fraggle holes? Uh, yeah, so? And how if I ever found one, that we could go into Fraggle Rock and maybe meet some fraggles? 
Uh, so? Is that one? Ooh, look at that. Well, it certainly looks like one. You never know where you're going to find these things. Can we go in, Uncle Kermit? Well, maybe, maybe just a little ways. Let's see if we can meet anyone. Watch your step, Robin. Shit, it's kind of scary. These are beautiful caves. Ooh. Hey, Uncle Kermit, what are you doing? Huh? Okay. Do you think this is really Fraggle Rock? Well, I don't know, but if I were a Fraggle, I think this is the kind of place I'd hang out. Wait a second. I thought I heard something. Guess not. Well, anyhow. Hey! Oh! Hmm? Whoa! Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, hi there. Uh, hi, hey. yourself. Uh, uh, you're Fraggles. I'll say. <laughs> but you're not. I'll say. Uh, no, I, I'm Kermit. This is Robin. Uh, we're frogs. Uh, what's a frog? <laughs> They're frogs. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Don't touch them. Frogs are probably noted germ carriers. Oh, well, actually, we just came down here to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Oh, oh thank you. Nice. Uh, what's Christmas? Yeah. Oh, don't you have Christmas? Mm -mm. No. Oh, that's when you gather together with the people you love and you wish each other peace on Earth. Oh, we have a time like that. Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, we're celebrating it right now. You see, we give each other little presents. I'm giving Boober this nice yellow pebble. <laughs> and I gave Mookie that pebble last year. Yeah. And I gave it to Red the year before that. And yeah. I gave it to you, Wembley, the year before that. <laughs> <laughs> that pebble's been a gift 37 times. 37 times? Yeah. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. la, la, la. <laughs> Pass it on. When it's nice and bright and it brings delight, let your heart choose right. Gotta pass it on. When it feels real good, like a feeling should. When it's understood, gotta pass it on. When you're giving love away, love will come again to say what you give is what you gain. When you pass it on. When I give a gift to you, I know you're gonna give it too. That's why giving's what we do as we. this pebble. <gasps> wow. Gee, well, Merry Christmas, Fraggles. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Bye. 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 Oh, Gosh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nice to be with friends at Christmas. Kermit, we hear shouting outside. It could be Miss Piggy. Oh, oh, let's go. Anyone see her out there? Well, at least the storm has eased up a bit. Uh, uh, Chef, why don't you make some hot soup? And Mrs. Bear, would you put some extra blankets on a bed? Well, wait a minute, there she is. What? <laughs> yeah, and she don't look bad. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, Kermie. Am I late? I, I, I don't know how to explain this, Kermit, but I was searching through the snow and suddenly there was Miss Piggy with this costume for me. You don't have to explain, Doc. If there's one thing Piggy knows, it's how to make an entrance.
Here's a glove just for you. My Toys R Us kid. I'll show you how to field and run and hit like I did. All the fun that we'll share. My Toys R Us kid. You've got the stuff a pro's made of. Tagged him out when he slipped. Can't wait to grow up. With my brand new Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us. You'll never outgrow us. That's a snow leopard? Yeah. That's a tiger. Come to Wendy's for your cuddly animals and help us help World Wildlife Fund protect the real ones. And that's Mom. Uh-oh. Get your kids all four wild animals only at Wendy's. I take a bite. I take a pony. What I love is my best sonny. I like pizza pie. Look at the fun Sony came up with this year. New sing-along cassette players, AM, FM, Walkman stereos, and wrist walkie-talkies made for kids. I like Billy. I like Sony. <laughs> what I love is my first Sony. It won't be your last. At Play School, we know kids love our dinosaurs because they've made them the most popular ones in history. We've got Play School dinosaurs. They're big and strong and tough. Spines and teeth and tails. Jaws and horns and sails. And now we've made eight more just as big and realistic, with parts that move and cavesters, too. Play School's definitely dinosaurs. Play School dinosaurs are big and strong and tough. We can play with them real rough. Ah, scared, didn't I? That's a snow leopard? Yeah, that's a tiger. Come to Wendy's for your cuddly animals and help us help World Wildlife Fund protect the real ones. And that's Mom. Uh-oh. Get your kids all four wild animals only at Wendy's. Wanted for crimes against you. For the crime of murder. For the crime of robbery. For the crime of rape. 27 felons were taken off the street. They were arrested through information from you and Crime Stoppers on WBRC 6 News. Wanted for crimes against you, for the crime of murder, for the crime of robbery, for the crime of rape. 27 felons were taken off the street. They were arrested through information from you and Crime Stoppers on WBRC 6 News. you all here. Uh, you are all here, aren't you? Oh, good, because I'm afraid we're running out of room. Two of you will have to sleep hung on hangers on a hook on the wall. What a fabulous idea. Love hanger, love hanger. <laughs> That's the only way animal ever sleeps, man. <laughs> easy, easy, Mom, I told you it'd be easy. They're weirdos, Fuzzy. Yeah. But they're nice weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody, it's Christmas Eve and the tree is trimmed, so it's time for our annual carol sing. Take it, Rolf. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. May the calendar keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday, happy holiday, happy holiday. May the merry bells keep ringing. May your every wish come true. Ding dong merrily on high. In heaven the bells are ringing. Ding dong verily the sky is ribbed with angels singing. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Good King Wenceslas.
Claus looked out on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When our poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. For the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry horns, we sing in the choir. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. You have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! May the calendar keep ringing. Happy holidays! Gather near to us once more, Piggy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of
People go for the taste of new wheat and bran Triscuit just as much as regular Triscuit. It would so appear. New wheat and bran Triscuit. Milk bone dog biscuits, dog treats and flavor snacks. Merry Christmas, pal. Good night, boys. Good night, Mom. So this is how it feels to own a Toys R Us store. And here comes my pal Jeffrey to meet me at the door. We'll go up and down all the Toys R Us aisles. 18,000 different toys going on for miles. I dreamt I won the Super Bowl. I had a better dream. Toys R Us. You'll never outgrow us. Get ready for the Big Four Classic. It'll be Louisville versus Indiana, Notre Dame versus Kentucky, coming up on an ABC College basketball doubleheader, Saturday. A Muppet Family Christmas, brought to you by Toys R Us. Happy holidays from Toys R Us, the world's biggest toy store. You'll never outgrow it. Fuzzy's stocking is hung by the mantle so Santa can bring him a present. Oh, Mom, this is embarrassing. I mean, I'm not a cub anymore. I'm a grown bear. Oh, well, I'll take it down. Oh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> you know, Miss Piggy, I think it's time I gave you your present. Oh, really? Oh, oh, tell me, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, well, your present is a mink. Ah! A mink! A mink. I've always wondered it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, uh, Maureen? I said, hi, I'm Maureen the Mink. I heard her, I heard her. Mm. Well, 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 this is, this is the Mink? My Mink? Of course. Oh, Miss Piggy, I've seen everything you've done. I'm your biggest fan. I worship the ground you walk on. <laughs> what a wonderful present. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Speaking of presents, Grover, mm -hmm. I'd like you to have this Fraggle Pebble. This fraggle pebble here is for me? Oh, I just love Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! We wish you a Merry Christmas! certainly seem to be having a good time out there, Sprocket. Yeah, I like it when they have a good time. But I tell you what, somebody's got to do something about these dishes, Sprocket. Come on. I'll wash and you dry, okay? Hi, I'm Janet Hall. Student loans at Stillman College are coming under fire from the U.S. Department of Education. We'll have the full story coming up at 10 on WBRC 6 News. Show. 
You know, it's uh, the Christmas season around the Alabama area, and there are all sorts of great Christmas productions that are going on at all of our great uh, uh, area churches. And tonight I wanted to do a special Christmas project to go out and visit one of the great productions that's going on right down here where I am right now at the First Assembly of God in Alabaster. This is Ron Cox Church, and it's right here in Alabaster, and they have an outstanding production called Scrooge, that I want you to get a chance to see just a little bit of it, and then uh, that'll tell you, man, you need to come and see it in person. So we're going to give you a special hour tour of this production of Scrooge tonight at the First Assembly of God Church in Alabaster. Stay with me. I want to start off by interviewing and letting you meet the pastor of this church, Ron Cox. Ron, you come on over. Ron, how are you? Good to see you. Good to, <laughs> good to have you here with us tonight. It really is. It's a delight. I think, I think Ron is one of the finest pastors in all of the city of Birmingham. Don't you folks back here agree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like your church, Ron. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this church has been in this community, Hank, for a long time. In fact, in the actual Alabaster area, uh, the actual city of Alabaster, it was probably one of the very first churches that was ever established here back in 1928. It began... And it's been growing, and God has been using it and blessing it uh, ever since. So we're, we're grateful. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Now, tell me, what is your emphasis here at the First Assembly? What do you want to do, and how do you want to help the community? Well, I'll tell you, Hank, as you know and you shared with me in the office just a little bit earlier, your, your desired mission in life, and, and I believe we've got a, a comparable mission, we've got a hurting world out there. And I tell you, we want to, to make an effect upon people. We want to do more than just somehow let Christians come in and polish up our armor. But we want to somehow motivate our people to hear the cries of a lost world out there that is hurting. We want our church to be relevant to the needs that are out there, not in a condemning way, but in a loving way, and let them know that Jesus Christ is the total answer for their lives. Praise God. I like that. Now tell the folks where they can find the First Assembly of God Church in Alabaster when they want to come see this production? Well, you can't get from where you are to here. <laughs> no, no, really. Hank, we have just, and we're grateful for it. I didn't know if you knew this or not, but we just purchased 30 beautiful acres of land at the, at the main artery that comes into our city, and we're so grateful, and we're already beginning plans, and we're going to start the first phase in just a couple of months. And uh, we have a Christian school, and our entire church complex will be there. But if you're coming from the Birmingham area, you come down Highway 31, and you come to what we call the Industrial Road, or uh, uh, Highway 95, in between the Columbiana Bank and a used car lot, you turn right, and you go to the end of the road, you take another right, two roads, you come right back right again, and you'll see the church on the left. Well, it's a friendly church. It's what we call a family-friendly church. And when they do their production of Scrooge here at Christmas time, you will have the time of your life. So, Ron, I want to thank you for your hospitality and letting us come over. And I want you to tell me a little bit about your music director. Okay, well, our music director is really the, the mind behind this production. We've been doing it now for seven years. It's kind of a tradition in our area. There's churches that call and ask to reserve seats, and, and we do it for five or six nights. And uh, it, it's turned into a real uh, Christmas tradition around here. And Ben Stone, our music director, he and his wife, Nancy, are just vital to our church. And ha they have been with us now for seven years. And uh, Ben, I'd like for you to come over, if you will. And Hank, I'd like for you, of course, you know Ben. I think he's your neighbor, in fact. He's a good neighbor, and he keeps his yard cut. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Ben? I'm doing great, Hank. We appreciate you having us tonight. Well, we're going to give you kind of a walking tour tonight of this great production called Scrooge. I want you to stay with us for the next hour as we continue tonight's edition of the Hank Irwin Show. Stay with us. Amen. Interest rates are some of the lowest they've been in over 20 years. At First Capital Mortgage, we have some of the lowest interest rates in the United States. With fixed rates as low as 7%, we are saving our customers thousands of dollars by refinancing their high interest rate loans. At First Capital Mortgage, we provide our customers with fast, friendly, professional service. Whether you are buying a house or refinancing that high interest rate loan, give First Capital a call today. And welcome back. I'm Hank Irwin, and on tonight's edition of the Hank Irwin Show, we're taking you on a little Christmas tour. 
We are at the uh, First Assembly of God Church in Alabaster, and we're letting you preview the upcoming production of Scrooge. This is a great production put on by this church, and it's full color, full costume. And I've got with me Ben Stone, who is the uh, music director of uh, this great production. And Ben, tell me a little bit about what you have to do to make a production like this work. Well, it takes a couple of months, actually. We've been working on this particular set. Uh, I started actually working on it, redoing it this past Christmas, as soon as last year's Scrooge performance was over. We've been decorating and working on it since then, but as far as putting up the superstructure, we've been working now a little over a month, and the past three weeks, we've been working on all the technical areas, running all the lights and all the, the, the things, the uh, undercurrents, <laughs> I guess you could say, all the things that go unseen behind the, behind the scenes. So um, it does take a lot of work, but I have a lot of help, uh, a lot of people that help us. It, with production crew, with uh, our technical crew with the um, all the choir the cast that is involved we run at approximately 100 to 125 participants every year in putting it on the whole entire production from advertising all the way through to the to the last day man at the end of it <laughs> so. well we're going to give you a little production i want to first of all get the cameras to give us a wide angle shot of this tremendous uh, facility back here they have worked so hard They've turned their entire front sanctuary of their church into almost like a Charles Dickens village. And what is this, 150th anniversary of Charles Dickens? Yes, uh, 150 years ago, Charles Dickens wrote uh, A Christmas Carol. And so his uh, book has continued to be uh, read and the play has continued to been, be done. And many TV productions have been done of it, of course. And we're just glad to be a part of putting it on because it has a very timely story. Uh, as we see the heart change of uh, Ebenezer Scrooge throughout. Well, we're going to give you a little walking tour now. I'm going to turn it over to Ben Stone and the choir here at the First Assembly of God in Alabaster. And this gives you a little idea of Scrooge.
Interest rates are some of the lowest they've been in over 20 years. At First Capital Mortgage, we have some of the lowest interest rates in the United States. With fixed rates as low as 7%, we are saving our customers thousands of dollars by refinancing their high interest rate loans. At First Capital Mortgage, we provide our customers with fast, friendly, professional service. Whether you are buying a house or refinancing that high interest rate loan, give First Capital a call today. You have a dangerous sense of humor, Cratchit. Another word from you and you'll spend your Christmas by losing your job, you will. I'm quite sorry, Uncle Ebenezer. Now tell me, sir, why is it Christmas sours you so? Sours me? Why is it Christmas cheers you so? Ah, oh, now there's a good question. Why, Christmas is a time to be of good cheer. It's the day of our Savior's birth. It's a time to give thanks. Yes, thank him that you're starving to death. Well, now, I may not be rich, sir, but, but he meets my needs. I have yet to go without all my family. I'd say he provides rather well, actually. I'd say I provide rather well for you, Cratchit. Oh, Uncle, can't you be merry even on Christmas? No, I can't. Neither should you. Are you a simpleton, Cratchit? How can you be so merry when you're so poor? Well, how can you be so miserable when you're so rich? Bah, humbug! Christmas is for fools, it is. Complete foolishness. What good has it ever done you, Cratchit? It's nothing but a time for, for you to waste your money on gifts. A time to find yourself an hour older, not an hour richer. A time for weighing down your already unbalanced books. Sit down. It's complete foolishness, it is. Oh, Uncle, don't you see? Gifts are not the meaning of Christmas. Giving is. We proclaim the wonderful gift God has given us by giving gifts to each other. He's given me no gifts. I've worked for every shilling I've got. You keep Christmas your way and I'll keep it mine. Oh, but that's just it, sir. You don't keep it, you don't keep it Well, all. then let me leave it be if I wish. But don't you see, Christmas is the time when, when we share our blessings with one another. Oh, sharing it is. Sharing. A lot of good sharing's ever done me. I've never earned a profit from it. I dare say not everything turns a profit, at least not in silver ago. Ah, but some things profit us in far better ways. We proclaim the wonderful gift God has given us by giving gifts to each other. I say praise him. Praise him for showing us what has real value. Well, I say blast him for not leaving me alone. Oh, but Uncle don't... Oh, I don't pay you to preach. I pay you to work, which I shall not do long if you don't get on with it. If you want to thank God for something, you best thank him I'm your uncle or else, or else you'd find yourself in the gutter a long time ago. Well, come on. And welcome back to the Hank Irwin Show. We're doing a Christmas special for you tonight. We're visiting over here at the First Assembly of God in Alabaster and letting you get a little look at seeing their great Christmas production called Scrooge. Now, there's more to come, so I want you to stay where you are. But I want to take just a moment to bring in my good friend Dick Lovelady, one of the finest dog trainers in the entire country, located right here in Birmingham. And I wanted you to get some tips on pets for Christmas. If you're going to get a pet for your child for Christmas, I want to make sure that uh, you know a few tips ahead of time so that you can make it a pleasant experience for your child and your house. <laughs> so, Dick, welcome. How are you? Thank you, Hank. Nice to be here. I like this idea of giving pets for Christmas, and uh, all of us love dogs, and you're one of the finest dog trainers in the entire United States. Give us some ideas of what to do if a parent decides to give a dog for Christmas. Hank. Normally, Christmas is not necessarily the best time to get a dog, but many people uh, get pets for their children, and unfortunately, the, sometimes the children outgrow the puppies, and they end up with the parents taking charge and taking responsibility, but it's basically designed for the children to learn some responsibility. I have here tonight, I have a trained dog that uh, in front of us, and then I have an untrained dog, a little dog here in the crate, and uh, speaking of a crate, uh, one of the, the problems most people have with puppies is 
the the house breaking mm -hmm. and uh, this crate is a a situation where we can use a, a, a tube by which we can keep peace in the family by not having accidents the little puppy in the house can be supervised in the crate it's sort of like a little den for the for the dog and what age is a uh, uh, what age first of all is a good age for a child to get a puppy actually the ideal time is around seven weeks that's when the little uh, puppy's mind is is very much uh, like a little sponge and they just we can absorb a lot of learning uh, the EEG on a seven weeks old puppy is the same as an adult mm -hmm. dog so that's a good time however it does take uh, a, a little bit more care when the dog is that age now when you're talking about bringing in a you've got a, a full-grown dog here by the way this is Sandy is that right this is Sandy tell me the story on Sandy well the Sandy is a product of the of a shelter I adopted uh, uh, May a year ago, training for the Broadway play Annie, and uh, he performed very well. And uh, he, I decided that I would keep him, so he's part of my family now. Uh, in fact, I have just uh, finished a tape of his life, the story of Sandy from Rags to Riches, a very warm little story about a dog that was adopted. Uh, it chokes me up when I think about it, but. And he's had a lot of good experiences. He met Miss America last year, and and uh, uh, he has never been the same since. <laughs> I want you to uh, put Sandy through some paces here and show us what a trained dog is like. All right, uh, Sandy. Sandy, would you rather be for the devil or be dead? And we have another one, Hank. It's a little. Come here, baby. Come. On. A little uh, would be a, a little uh, political. Uh, would you rather be for Bill Clinton or be dead? <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, come here. Come here. Can you sit? Can you shake? Can you give me a little kiss? Hank. <laughs> You can lay down now. Thank you. So it, it, it took a while to, to get him to do this, but we, we had to teach the animal to, to pay attention. Of course, that's the whole world is trying to get people and children to pay attention. Same thing with the dog. If you got the attention, you got it almost made. Wonderful. Well, let's give Sandy a hand. I'll tell you what. Right. <laughs> Sandy, you did good. Now, show us. A dog that is not trained in some of the. Um, uh, Let me just put this on this for the heck of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sandy the reindeer. <laughs> uh, uh, that's great. <laughs> I'm talking with Dick Lovelady of Dick Lovelady School for Dogs in Hoover, one of the finest uh, dog trainers in the entire United States. Pomeranian that uh, has just begun some training and it's kind of interesting that I, I've been uh, uh, my reputation for big dogs and so forth but I want you to know that uh, all dogs uh, are God's creatures and they, they can be small or they can be real large and they can be mean they can be sweet but this is a little Pomeranian and a lot of uh, people get little dogs like this and if you get a little dog like this, uh, uh, children sometimes can be a little bit abusive to the dog. I don't mean to, but uh, especially the ages of, say, two to six, they, they, they need a lot of supervision by the parents when handling the dog because it's not a stuffed animal. It's, it's a real live uh, entity. So, uh, But like I said before, one of the problems why more people have to give their dogs up. There are thousands put to sleep uh, almost daily, so it, it is a problem. And of course, it, I relate this to our society where we've got hundreds of thousands of children running the street. It's the same principle. Uh, 
But if they, if they would use a little crate, this is not cruel. This simply is a, is a uh, means by which you can supervise the dog. Because many parents work in the children's school, so the dog has to stay alone sometimes. Of course, uh, we can also make this a little larger and make a little playpen for the dog if we need to. But that's what we have to do to, to housebreak the dog. All right, speaking of housebreaking a dog, how do you do that? Well, <laughs> it's a little difficult sometimes, but I think our biggest problem is, is not being consistent. After we feed them, we take them out. There are two basic ways to housebreak. One is paper train, which when you're keeping the dog in all the time and you can't let them out, then you have to go to the paper. Normally, you would put the dog in a little area, uh, put papers down in the whole area, then as the dog begins to, uh, uh, to eliminate, then he'll pick out a certain spot in that area. Then you can take the papers away except that one paper in uh, that's the house breaking inside. The other way is by, by which we, the dog is, it learns to be taken out. After the feeding, he's taken out, he's walked around, and he's brought in. So uh, you go either way, and it just depends on the, on the environment the dog's in, how much time you have. Now, how about when the, the dog comes along, the little bitty puppy that's there for Christmas, it goes through a chewing stage. That's when you vow you're going to kill a dog. <laughs> how, do you help learn, how do you help a dog get out of that bad habit? Well, again, uh, as we've said before, supervision. You can't expect a small child or a dog to be left free to get into all types of things. Can you imagine a, a, a one or two-year-old being left free to, to do, you know, same principle. Uh, I think, though, that, that if we get to items that the dog's chewing, that sometimes we can, one way we might do it is use a, uh, a rather strong repellent like Listerine or like uh, they have se several products you can get like Bitter Apple. And uh, what we do first is we uh, put this on the little dog's tongue and mouth first. He, he understands this. And then, then we put it on the items that he's been chewing. Uh, and this would repel the dog. This is not 100%, but this does help in many cases. Now, one last thing. How about uh, if a uh, dog has a tendency to bite? Sometimes a dog is playful, right. even as a puppy, and it bites, not meaning to harm, but does. What do you do? Well, I think biting is, uh, a, is the way in which the puppy tries to dominate the pack, and, and he accepts you as his member of the pack, the family. And we have a little technique we call the muzzle grip, which we gently hold the dog's muzzle, and, and it's so, sort of like putting your hand on the shoulder of your son and talking to him. It's not punishment, it's just a statement of authority. Matter of fact, why don't you show us that? How would you do that with Sandy? It would be just a gentle touch, and we can rub the ears, and, and talk softly, but many little puppies now will fight and try to pull out, lay down, roll over, but we, we hold still, and, and when the puppy, we feel him relax, then we can take the muzzle grip off, and we, in essence, ha have his attention. Now, if a, I, I have heard that if a dog won't let you do that, then that's not the dog for you. Is that true? You know, Hank, if... if people would uh, evaluate the puppy prior to getting the puppy. You have a whole litter of puppies. Which one do I pick? I pick the one that runs up and grabs your pants leg, and it, it seems to be the leader of the pack. That's the dog you don't want. You don't want that you one. Do not you don't want that one. Nor do you want the one that holds back and runs and hides. You want sort of the middle of the road one that, that, that is, is trainable, that, that, that has some uh, sensitivity. And it's hard for uh, a, uh, a novice person to, to pick that out. I, I was telling someone the other day that you not hesitate to take your dog to the veterinarian to have him checked physically, but very seldom do people uh, understand they could bring the puppy to us and we could evaluate the temperament. Several times we have, we have told people that uh, please take the dog back to the breeder. This dog is never going to work in your family. So those are some of the tips that you can use for 
picking out a pet for Christmas. Brought to you by Dick Lovelady of Dick Lovelady School for Dogs. Let's give uh, Dick a warm hand. That's great. Dick Lovelady. The telephone number 823 Dogs. Dick, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And we'll be right back right after this. Stay with us. Price going. With a roar, the ground opened and the prices went tumbling down in Long Lewis. Price going. Prices fell to $14,990 for new 93 XLT Lariat F-150 pickup trucks. Price going. Select from dozens of F-150s with automatic transmission, V8 engine, AM, FM, cassette, stereo, electric locks, and windows, chrome step, bumper, and more. Price going. It's a price quake at Long Lewis Ford, Bessemer, and Coleman, but hurry. Soon it will all be over and it will be as though nothing had ever happened. And welcome back to the Hank Irwin Show. We are here at the First Assembly of God Church in Alabaster. We're letting you get a walking preview of this great Christmas production called Scrooge. It represents a lot of the great Christmas productions going on in the Alabama area, and we wanted you to get a little sneak peek at what's coming your way. I want to take a moment, though, and visit with my good friend Mike Torquato of Metropolitan Travel. He is our resident travel expert. He's with us here tonight. We are uh, over on the side of the stage of Bob Cratchit's house. So, uh, Mike, this is a real unique opportunity to be in the Cratchit family home. Absolutely. How are you tonight, Hank? Doing wonderful. I want you to give an update on where we stand on the Holy Land Tour. Folks, we want you to know about the Holy Land Tour. We're going to the Holy Land next spring. We want you to go with us. Tell us about it. Uh, the next, uh, well, the Holy Land Tour will be May 2nd, and um, it'll be a 10-day tour. Uh, to the Holy Land. Uh, we're looking at uh, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Sea of Galilee, five-star deluxe hotels, your airfares included, uh, all your touring. It's going to be a great trip. We did this last year and it really worked out well. So you've got an opportunity to go to the Holy Land and see the great sites where Jesus walked. You can be there in person. It is a tremendous package and a tremendous opportunity. The reason we're telling you about this now, you'd say, well, if you're going next May, why talk about it now at Christmas? There's, there's some special reasons. I guess you've got to do a lot of preparation to get this ready. Is that true? A lot of preparation. Uh, also, it's a good time of the year to give it as a gift.